There's a grand history in Hollywood of actors or directors trying to bring their passion projects to life. Whether that's through creating ginormous, beautifully rendered worlds with heartbreaking narratives and intense character work, or simply making the very best phone company adverts they can, passion is important. It's inevitable in an industry driven by egos and creativity that everyone would have an idea of films that need to be made. Whether we're quite prepared for what they entails is an entirely different story though. With that in mind, I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are eight upcoming movie passion projects you aren't ready for. 8. Glass Despite the fact that Unbreakable arguably remains M. Night Shyamalan's best film, the initial interest in making a sequel ended when Touchstone opted to not finance it. But like a bad case of herpes, they could not get rid of him. Even whilst his profile struggled after some less than adored releases, he cracked on with his superhero series. Split, which included a character he'd intended to use in Unbreakable at first, eventually ended up being a success and the stinger set up the third movie. Glass, then, is the culmination of Shyamalan's vision for Unbreakable and Split, and will be the point where all of the ideas explored so far come to fruition. Let's hope it lives up to its namesake and continues to smash all Shyamalan preconceptions into tiny little safety break pieces. 7. June Denis Villeneuve has been working on his passion project, what he calls Star Wars for Adults. Ooh, I feel like you guys will have something to say about that one. Since 2016. He's now got his principal cast in place and it seems that the project is genuinely happening. What we can all guarantee is that it'll look incredible, given the director's eye for beautiful shots and the way he likes to set his film's visuals up. Let's hope that his desire to make a Star Wars standalone doesn't mean he'll turn June into one in all but name, because that would be a disservice to the source material. There's giant man-eating sandworms to be thinking about here, not childish exogorths, gosh. 6. Honey Boy The idea of actors making movies about their own lives sounds too odd and too self-indulgent to ever get past the initial pitching stage, but Shia LaBeouf has managed to get the deeply personal passion project Honey Boy off the ground. Nothing is impossible! Do it! In it, he will play his own father in a story based on his own life, and the title is his own childhood nickname, presumably because he's just so dang sweet. And not only that, but LaBeouf is genuinely a talented actor who is often misjudged through the filter of other behaviour or choices. Just let the man watch all his films in a live stream, wear a paper bag on his head, and cannibalise people in peace! 5. Terry Gilliam's Don Quixote after a mammoth 25-year development of Terry Gilliam's The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, some of the world has finally seen the Monty Python Legends Ultimate Passion Project. Unfortunately, fans in the UK and US who want to see the Adam Driver starring fantasy epic will still have to wait to see it after a rights battle convinced Amazon Studios to pull their deal to distribute and stream it. For now, we'll just have to wait and see. But the reviews so far promise a portrait of madness and charm in equal measure. 4. The Ballad of Richard Jewell Somehow, the prospect of Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill teaming up again after The Wolf of Wall Street has flown somewhat under the radar. Hill has been attached to an adaptation of the story of Richard Jewell since 2014 as a producer, and wants to tell the tale of the security guard who was accused of being a suspect in the 1996 Olympic bombing, who he will star as as himself. Captain Phillips screenwriter Billy Ray is writing the script, and DiCaprio is producing and also co-starring. It certainly has the potential for Oscar attention, and besides all that, it's a story that absolutely deserves to be told. Credit to Hill for pushing through on his desire to tell it. 3. Halloween There's obviously already been one Halloween remake, and while Rob Zombie's version wasn't the worst horror film ever released, that high honour goes to Troll 2, it certainly left a lot to be desired. Thankfully, after years of will they, won't they make it back and forth, Jason Blum at Blumhouse came to the project's rescue, citing Halloween as one of the major projects that inspired him to make horror movies. Aww, it's always nice to hear about how murderous psychopaths improve lives for the better. The agenda is essentially to rescue the franchise from the doldrums, hence them ignoring the poor sequels, and give Michael Myers his place back as a true horror icon. And it definitely feels like a passion project designed to right a lot of wrongs. Good God, let us hope. 2. Todd McFarlane's Spawn For a long 
lot of people, the original Spawn movie is one of the worst ever comic book movies. Whether it's from the special effects rendered in your nan's knitting box, or the dreaded clown that can make you cringe so hard you curl up inside yourself never to be seen again, it may be surprising to see the hellish anti-hero returning to the big screen. The project has been in various stages of development since way back in 2007, when Todd McFarlane first announced a reboot, and Jamie Foxx has been semi-attached since around 2013, when he revealed he was aggressively pursuing the film. To be honest, this one can only go upwards, so it's a win on both parts. 1. Fonzo Tom Hardy has wanted to play Al Capone for the best part of the last decade. In 2016, it was revealed that he would indeed be playing Capone, but at the other end of his life, when he was struggling with paresis and dementia and the focus on his violent past at the same time. It sounds like a great project, and everything we've seen so far seems to suggest Hardy looks stunning in the lead. Stunning and wrinkly. The only slight reservation is that Hardy is once again going to be doing a voice, as he revealed he was mostly inspired by Bugs Bunny when putting his speech together. Interesting. And that's our list. What would be your passion project to unleash on the world of film? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Thanks for watching.